All right, getting you the top developments uh, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. Now, of course, there is a row which is going on over Senthil Balaji and the dismissal order which was previously being given by the governor. However, the order has now been put on hold as per sources and now the Congress has waded into the Tamil Nadu governor as far as the tussle is concerned, demanding that uh, President Murmu must sack Governor Arun Ravi. The Congress party says that Governor has no right to dismiss Senthil Balaji. On the other hand, the Congress MP has also cited criminal jurisprudence. Let me go across to my colleague Deepak, who is tracking this reaction for us. Yes, Deepak. Right, uh, Shivya, like you rightly mentioned, the Congress MP Manish Tiwari has asked the President to sack uh, Governor Arun Ravi. And in his tweet, he has said, that no sane bureaucrat, much less a sane lawyer, could have advised Mr. Ravi that constitutional scheme allows him to dismiss a minister. Criminal jurisprudence holds that you are innocent until proven guilty. Basically, Manish Tiwari is saying that you know the governor doesn't have the constitutional rights to dismiss or select any minister in uh, the chief minister's cabinet, and he has also gone on to say that uh, you know Santil Balaji is innocent until he's proven guilty. Right, and also this is what uh, the DMK has been saying uh, since that previous order came in. Uh, thank you, Deepa, for joining in for the meantime. But as far as the latest developments are concerned, Darini, good morning. Uh, we know that the DMK has said that they are going to challenge it legally. They say that the governor has no right uh, to dismiss Sendhil Balaji. However, in a latest, that decision has been put on hold. So what is going to be the next step from the DMK side? Yesterday around 7.30 p.m. there was a press release from Raj Bhavan uh, which told that Sandil Balaji is being dismissed from the Council of Ministers because of uh, uh, the corruption charges and uh, the investigations that are uh, being carried out against him by the investigators agencies. So within five hours after this announcement, uh, we are given to understand that uh, the Raj Bhavan has taken a U-turn. Uh, Governor R. N. Ravi has uh, you know, taken a U-turn. Uh, sources from the Home Ministry are telling us that uh, this order dismissing Sandil Balaji has been put on hold and that uh, the Governor is taking uh, legal opinions from the Attorney General of India. So only after you know, he takes all the uh, legal opinions as to whether he actually has uh, uh, the constitutional authority to dismiss a minister from the Council of Ministers, he will decide his further course of action is what we are given to understand. So this is a source-based information. Our sources from the Home Ministry are telling us that uh, this order uh, dismissing Sandil Balaji from the Council of Ministers has been put on hold by Governor R. N. Ravi and that he is taking opinions from the Attorney General of India. And only after uh, you know uh, all the legal discussions are over, the Governor will, will decide the next course of action. So as far as the GMK is concerned, Ever since this you know, order first came out, uh, they've been constantly talking to their legal experts, their senior counsels here in Chennai. In fact, uh, uh, the chief minister himself met the press and told that uh, the governor doesn't have the authority to dismiss a minister you know, from the cabinet without his uh, you know, uh, recommendation and that the GMK is going to uh, face this matter legally. Uh, so this, this was what exactly uh, told by the chief minister you know, when this order first came out. And now also, even after this uh, uh, learned U-turn uh, you know, by the governor, uh, the GMK is still continuing to talk uh, you know, uh, to their legal experts. They are taking uh, opinions from their senior counsels both in Delhi and Chennai. And based on what the governor decides to do further, uh, the GMK will decide its next course of action. All right. So the decision has been put on hold till further communication, which means that Balaji will continue to remain a member of the Council of Ministers. And as per sources, the pause button has been hit in order to consult the state attorney general, as my colleague also mentioned, and to seek a legal opinion. Well, the U-turn followed an earlier release by Tamil Nadu Raj Pawan, wherein uh, the rational, uh, this rationally came in as far as the removal uh, of the Neta is concerned by saying that. Senthil Balaji is abusing his position as a minister, influencing the investigation and obstructing the due process of law and justice. The rare move ended up escalating the confrontation with Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, who said that the governor had no authority to dismiss a minister from the cabinet and that the DMK government would challenge the decision legally. On the other hand, the action also sparked outrage among the non-BJP opposition parties, which condemned the dismissal, calling it outrightly unconstitutional and murder of democracy. So first of all, let's listen in to what were exactly the political war of words when this decision previously came out. <laughs> Our 
அவருக்கு அந்த அதிகாரம் கிடையாது நாங்கள் சட்ட ரீதியாக நாங்கள் சந்திப்போம் But the governor has abused his power or his constitutional power beyond the uh, limit that has been extended to him in the constitution. Uh, this is really outrageous and the uh, governor is trying to behave like a Tamil Nadu state BJP president where he wants to act as per the will of the BJP, not as per uh, how the constitution wants him to behave. So we are not here to please the governor. We have democratically uh, fought the election and we have been elected by the people we are doing our day to day affairs see how can a person who is in judicial constituency influence and uh, try to you know change the nature of the investigation governor ko power hi nahi hai ye to prerogative chief minister ka hai kisi mantri ko rakhna nikalna aur ye to pehle bar azad bharat mein ho raha governor puri tarah se agent ka kaam kar rahe hain sanghi dhancha बिल्कुल चरमा गया इस मामले में मैं निंदा करता हूं ये तो अप्रत्याशित है यह तो सोचा भी नहीं जा सकता है ये तो स्टालिन जो चीफ मिनिस्टर है वही डिसमिस कर सकते हैं गवर्नर ज्यादा ज्यादा एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ेगा उनको डिसमिसल का पावर तो गवर्नर के पास है ही नहीं है that there is a dangerous precedence in this country where every individual institution like cbi ed it has been saffronized by the ruling government that is bjp and used for their political gain and all these institutions now work to please their political masters unfortunately the post of a governor which is the constitutional head of a state has also been saffronized in different parts of the country especially in the non bjp states where the governors work to please the political masters and act as the conduit pipe of bjp it is very unfortunate so while yes that is what dmk has to say that the governor has no right to dismiss santil balaji however now it is to be seen what the dmk is going to do because the decision has been overturned earlier they say that they are going to seek legal opinions as far as governor's decision is concerned and if that happens even in the days to come then what courts have said in the past over matters of jurisdiction is going to be important because as far as such cases are concern back in 2016 the supreme court order on nabam rebia and uh, this versus deputy speaker were in the court observed that br ambedkar said governor has no function which he can discharge by himself while he has no functions he has certain duties to perform and then in another such case in 2016 were in the case was uh, uh, heard in the alabad high court and this was ashok pandey versus azam khan were in the observation was made by the court that difficult to accept that the letter sent by governor governor to speaker be treated to be a decisive basis cannot take action against the continuance of a minister on that ground alone so there are mass, uh, there are several such cases wherein uh, these uh, decisions from the courts have come in and now it is to be seen that what is going to be the dmk's next move we'll keep track in the political developments from tamil nadu but for the